Welcome everyone. This video isn't going to be about a conspiracy theory. There's no theory about what I'm going to tell you. This is fact. Today I will show you how a growing online community has slowly been revealing the evidence behind this new realization. This video is going to be about the hidden truth behind all the questions you have about ancient history. How were buildings like this made without modern technology? Why are there similar structures across the planet made by groups of people who had no contact with one another? Why are beautiful buildings being demolished by the government for no reason? And what happened to all the lost technologies we see in literature and historical documents? Well, my friends, your answer lies in the relics of the once grand Tartarian Empire. Let's talk about the Tartarian Empire, what it is, where it was, and what evidence that we have that it once existed. The Tartarian Empire was a vast regime that ruled over large portions of Asia with outreach all over the world. They created structures all over the planet, from star forts in Central America to even the Empire State Building. That's right, modern history is a lie. The Tartarians had conquered much of the world using lost technologies like earth-powered batteries, and due to a major cataclysmic mud flood event, they slowly lost their foothold in Asia and abandoned their new world colonies. Their culture was mostly lost in time to this destructive event, and many of their creations were destroyed. Those that survived would be demolished by modern governments with a few exceptions in a global effort to strike the Tartarians from the book and cover up the fact that humanity was once much more powerful than we are today, and that it was unified under a central government to maintain the status quo of new governments that popped up after the Tartarians fell in... Wait. N no. No, this, 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 this cannot be true. The idea that there was once an empire so great that it controlled the entire world and it just up and disappeared is absolutely crazy. I'm sorry to break it to you all, but I don't actually have forbidden knowledge to share with you today. What I'll actually be talking about is the Tartarian Conspiracy. Now you might be thinking that this crazy theory is completely made up and there isn't any historical mention of Tartary, but you'd be wrong. Let's take a look into where this conspiracy comes from. Like you probably imagined, Tartary is not a real place. It's not a nation, country, or group of people that have any identity whatsoever. In fact, none of the so-called Tartarians identified themselves with that nomenclature. Tartary is a large portion of Asia as it was understood by Europeans from the 13th to 18th centuries. It didn't refer to any of the multiple countries and ethnic populations within that area. It was simply a toponym for the Asian continent that wasn't completely understood by the Europeans at that time. So to be clear, this Tartary is not a country, it's just what Europeans called Asia. Eventually, as Europeans gained a slightly better understanding of geography, they divided Tartary into sections, like Siberia, which was called the Great Tartary, or Russian Tartary, and Manchuria, which was called Chinese Tartary. If you replace the word Tartary with Asia, these names make a little bit more sense. Each time the Europeans learned more about Asia or determined that a group of people lived in one place, they would just name that chunk of Tartary after them. Oh, and if you're wondering where the word Tartary comes from, it actually came into usage after the violent spread of the Mongol Empire and likely derives from the word Tartarus, a hellish realm of Greek mythology. So as you might be able to imagine, European map makers did not have very high opinions of these so-called Tartars. Eventually, as the 18th century came to a close, so did the usage of the name Tartary. However, this word has found itself attached to scores of documents and maps that would survive into the 21st century, which eventually helped fuel this conspiracy. This is despite the fact that any mentions of the Tartarian language or flag were created by Europeans who encountered different groups of people in Asia that they just didn't understand. Nowadays, for most people, it's clear that this is just a cut-and-dry placeholder name. So this should be it, right? We should all just understand that this name is just that, a name. Well, <laughs> that wouldn't make for a very good video. You see, the Tartarian conspiracy theory states that these maps aren't referring to Asia as a whole during this time period, but rather an actual unified nation, the Tartarian Empire. 
an umpire that was so powerful it actually had outposts all over the world and had for a time achieved some sort of world peace. This grand empire has been hidden from history books and has all but vanished from the modern world, leaving only a few pieces of evidence behind. So with such a great foothold over the world, how did the Tartarians lose it all? The avalanche of mud rolls relentlessly on, but there is no stemming the mounting waves of mud. Mud Floods this grand empire that covered all of Asia and many other parts of the world was destroyed from raging mud floods. Supporters of the Tartarian conspiracy theory believe that there is little evidence of this ancient civilization because it is buried deep beneath the ground. This idea has very little support in actual geological phenomenon, but instead in the fact that some old buildings have windows underground. Now, obviously, mud floods have happened throughout history and have probably buried some houses. It's not a stretch to say that there are probably some grand architectural pieces that are stuck below the surface of the earth, given that, well, we find some every year and dig them up. But an entire empire being buried? Where would all that mud even come from? It really makes no sense. And you might believe that I'm just brushing over this section of the conspiracy since the empire being hidden is such a crucial detail. But no, this is genuinely the only real piece of evidence used in the theory. Some adherents to this theory will also suggest that World War II bombing campaigns also leveled some evidence of this ancient empire, but again, that just doesn't make a lot of sense. Unfortunately, many buildings were destroyed during World War II, but not any that belonged to an ancient empire. So, if this grand empire is supposedly buried underground, how would we even come to believe it existed, and that it stretched to the lengths that it did? Well, that brings us to the next important chapter in this story. Now we're getting into one of the central questions of this video. What is Tartarian architecture? How is it evidence for this grand empire? Tartarian architecture refers to the creations of this forgotten empire that exists today. Now, these creations do not follow one style. They can literally be any form of architecture as long as they feel out of place for people who don't understand history. More importantly, however, it's a subreddit where many of the followers of this conspiracy gather. r slash Tartarian architecture, which was created in 2018, is defined by people misunderstanding buildings, lamenting over lost and destroyed pieces of architecture, and commonly reused and recycled arguments about the existence of similar buildings throughout the world, like the fact that there are pyramids in parts of the world that had no contact during the time of their construction, which totally has nothing to do with the fact that a pyramid is just a good shape to make buildings out of, no. Now besides r slash Tartarian architecture, there's also this larger subreddit, r slash Tartaria, which has similar posts to the Tartarian architecture subreddit, but also some that don't involve architecture specifically, so I'll sort of be talking about both subreddits at once, but I'll make distinctions if it's actually important. So if you spend time on these subreddits, you'll quickly learn that they're essentially just pictures of ornate and beautiful pieces of architecture from different points in history and across the world. Some destroyed, some still standing. And essentially, all of these pictures just point out how the buildings are old and beautiful and complicated, implying that there is no possible way something so awesome isn't a modern creation. These pictures also like to point towards old structures that, while beautiful, have been demolished, as if there's some greater conspiracy to hide these ancient Tartarian structures. Now, while it's sad that many of these buildings are destroyed, it's often because city planners or owners or whoever is looking to increase productivity, as many of these buildings, while beautiful, are impractical for one way or another. Here's an example of one of these posts, which is actually a cross post from a different subreddit. Note that there isn't really any context or commentary added in this repost. There are a million valid reasons why this building could be destroyed, and not one of them has to do with an ancient worldwide civilization. The sad thing is, many buildings like this are cleared out for financial or even safety reasons. Just because they look cool on the outside doesn't mean they're viable on the inside whatsoever. Here's another example. Again, note that there's zero context about why this building was destroyed, just, just a picture of it. Let's look at some other types of posts on this subreddit. Ah, uh, yes. Tartar sauce. Came from Tartaria. 
Okay, you know, it, it's good to know that some people on this subreddit don't take this theory so seriously, but okay, what else, really, what else is here? Let's look into some of the lost technologies that the Tartarians may have built. This post is a great example for a couple of reasons. So this post points out that the Empire State Building was once used to dock airships. Naturally, of course, this means that the Empire State Building was created long ago by Tartarians who needed their spaceships to refuel and... and no, no, not true at all. You see, the truth behind this photo is actually pretty interesting. The owners of the Empire State Building wanted to make it a bit taller, but they knew they couldn't just add a spire to the top because that might seem like cheating. No, this extension of the Empire State Building's height needed a reason, a, a purpose, so that it was legitimate and they could hold the record for the tallest building in the world. So this extension became a docking port for blimps. There was no real intention of using it for this purpose, and in fact, this image is a fake, or at least a manipulation, and it was distributed as propaganda so that people thought this might actually happen. Eventually, though, people did want to try docking an airship there, but the wind made it very difficult. A year after this fake picture was distributed, in 1931, a privately owned blimp actually did stick the landing, but they could only stay there for three minutes because of extreme winds. Other groups would try to make the landing, but it was ultimately way too difficult to be useful whatsoever. Now, the reason I tell you this anecdote is to emphasize the fact that people just throw whatever they can on this subreddit without doing any research. It adds to the perception that this subreddit and the Tartarian conspiracy as a whole is less of an organized theory and more of just pictures of old things, real or fake, that look interesting. Here's another example of people not doing their research. Tartarian conspiracy theorists think that star forts built around the world all had to have been created from one civilization, right? I mean, not because they're an easily defendable shape, right? Or, or because of this little thing in history called colonialism? Here's another fun theme that you'll see in the Tartarian subreddits. Windows that happen to be below ground supporting the mud flood theory. Because there's no other legitimate explanation for how these windows ended up underground, right? I can't comment on why all of these buildings have windows below ground, but I can say for relative certainty that there are better explanations besides a world-spanning mud flood that buried them. Like maybe the fact that faulty foundations can wear down over time and buildings can sink into the ground? The 1915 World's Fair that was held in the city of San Francisco is another crucial piece of this theory. Many believers think that the grounds of this World's Fair actually weren't built for the purpose of the fair, but they already existed, and then the excuse that they were temporary buildings could be used by the government to destroy links to the Tartarians. Hey, you know, this makes so much sense on the government's part. Why just destroy buildings secretly without drawing attention to yourself when you can literally invite the entire world to come visit them and then blow them up? That makes a ton of sense. Also, I really want to point out how funny this post about the World's Fair is. So after the OP makes this grand statement about burying buildings like this, the commenter points out how it still exists to this day. And it does. This building is the Palace of Fine Arts, which was built during the 1915's World Fair. And not before by an ancient civilization. The Tartarian Conspiracy isn't something that can be understood logically from A to Z. Many points of the theory are contested amongst believers, and there isn't really a clear story here. These subreddits organize the theory backwards. They start with random pieces of evidence, like ornate buildings, and then they try to make it fit into their explanation, rather than focusing on what this evidence actually points towards. From there, with nothing but a picture of an old building in hand, people try to come up with ridiculous explanations for what it could be. There isn't one clear theory that these images support. If you explored these subreddits for a bit, you may notice a lot of reposts from the r slash cultural layer subreddit, which is a very similar subreddit focusing on, in its own words, studying and organizing evidence of historical and chronological manipulations slash hoaxes and cataloging instances of anomalous soil accumulation and the implications of a very recent earth-spanning catastrophe. What you'll notice about this description is that it doesn't suppose a grand theory, rather just many instances of burying culture and a big natural disaster. The Tartarian conspiracy theory essentially takes evidence like this stuff that you see in the subreddit and just fits it into their story even when it doesn't make much sense. 
And there are just so many questions that rip apart this theory. Here are some of my favorites. If this grand empire stretched across the whole world and was one unified group of people, why does Tartarian architecture consist of many different architecture styles? How would every world government be able to cover up their Tartarian roots? And also, why? Why would governments want to cover this up? It just doesn't make much sense. So, I haven't really talked about where this theory definitively came from, and that's mainly because parts of its origin are somewhat unclear. This conspiracy theory actually began in Russia, where these two Russian conspiracy theorists popularized the theory that Tartary was an ancient Russian empire that the Western world in particular refuses to recognize, perhaps as some propaganda by the West to limit people's understanding of how much influence and power the country once had. Their idea was that Tartary was an all-encompassing Russian empire, and this is the reason it's been covered up by the West. It wasn't until around 2016 that the theory began to pop up on the English-speaking internet, and I'm not entirely sure how it made the Russian-English jump. So if anyone has any insight on this, especially anyone who speaks Russian and heard anything from around that time, please leave it in the comments for us to hear. The communities that make this theory flourish essentially grab random posts from other subreddits or tell long stories based entirely off of inaccurate information. While it's a fun idea to entertain that there was an ancient human empire that had grand technology like earth batteries and spaceship docks, it really doesn't add up. Maybe somewhere deep in these subreddits could there be an ounce of truth? Or, or some sort of conspiracy about destroying a building? Sure, maybe. But probably not, and there definitely isn't any merit to the idea as a whole. There is no Easter Bunny, there is no Tooth Fairy, and there is no Tartarian Empire. The Tartarian Conspiracy is an excellent example of how not to create a convincing conspiracy theory. Okay guys, I hope that video was fun for you to watch. It was a really fun rabbit hole for me to dive into. If there are any takeaways from this, it's that you should think twice before you randomly repost content to niche conspiracy subreddits. No, actually though, thank you for watching and supporting my work today. This was fun to do, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy, there's more where this came from, and I encourage you to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I was trying something new with this video, so let me know if you want to see more of this. That's all for now, everyone, and good night. Thank you.